Hi, thank you for joining. My name is Jesus. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your NVR system and IP cameras using an external PLE switch. Also, this video will cover the basics if you have, as an example, if you have an 8-channel NVR with 4 built-in PLE ports on the back of it and you have 8 IP cameras, this video will tell you how to connect all the cameras with the external PoE switch. So, let's begin. Here we have our MBR system. This is a 16 channel MBR system with four built in PoE ports on the back. So, if I have 16 cameras, I will need to have an external PoE switch, which is here. Here I have my external PoE switch that I will show you how to connect everything so you can set up successfully an NVR unit with IP cameras connecting it to an external PoE switch. So now let's go through the basics. We have our NVR unit, we have our PoE switch, we have our router or home router, the IP cameras, the network cables, the power supplies and power cords, the BGA or it could be an HDMI cable depending on your TV or monitor, your mouse and of course your monitor or your TV. So we started by we get the NVR system and first we get a network cable we will connect it into the LAN port of the MBR, which is right on the back, right here. And then the other end will be connected, it could be two ways. It could be connected to the PoE switch, or it could be connected directly to the home router. In this case, we are going to connect it the most common way which is the PoE switch. You connect it into any of the available ports. So now you have your MBR connected to the PoE switch. Now we get another network cable and we will connect the PoE switch, the uplink to your router. So on this PoE switch, the uplink is right here. So now we get a cable and we will connect it to any available ports in your home router. This is just for an illustration purpose. So now, as you guys can see, we have our MBR unit connected to the PoE switch and then the PoE switch is connected to your home router. Now we get the IP cameras and we can connect them in two different ways. We can connect all the network IP cameras directly to the PoE switch or we can connect the first four cameras to the built-in PoE, PoE ports on the MBR. In this case, I will connect the first IP camera to the back of the MBR, the built-in PoE, which is here, any available ports. So now we have our first IP camera connected to the back of the MBR. Now if we have many more cameras I will get the other cameras connect the network cable. If I already have four cameras on the MBR then I will simply connect the rest of the cameras into any available ports in the PoE switch like so. So now as you guys see here, we have 
two of the IP cameras, one of them is connected to the PoE switch, the other one is connected to the built-in PoE ports on the MBR, and then we have our MBR that's connected to the PoE switch, and the PoE switch is connected to your home router meaning your home router provides internet to the PoE switch and then the switch provides internet to your MBR as well. Another thing that you could also do is you can connect your MBR directly to your home router. Whichever way that you choose or whichever way is more appropriate for you will work. Now, once we connected the network, then you could grab your USB mouse and connect it into the USB port that's located in the back, right here. So you can control your MBR. Then you're gonna get your BGA cable, or if you have an HDMI cable, you can do so as well. For this occasion, I have a VGA, so I will simply connect the VGA cable into the back of my unit and twist to secure the connector. And then the other side of the VGA, I will connect it into the back of my TV or monitor. In this case, I have a monitor that has the VGA on the back. So I will simply connect the VGA on the back of it and twist to secure the connector. Then the power cords. You know that this will go into your power outlet and the other side to the, the connector or the power supply or wherever it needs to be plugged. In this case, this side, it will go into my monitor in here and then this I will plug it to the wall outlet then I get my power supply this power supply is maybe bigger or maybe smaller depending on the DVR I mean MBR but on the MBR you require 48 volts to power it on the cameras through the PoE uh, cable. So now I get the power cord connected into the DC power supply. This end will go into the wall outlet and the other side will go into my DVR unit connector which is on the left side. And that's it. The last thing you need to do is just turn on the switch and that's how you set up and connect your MBR unit using the external PoE switch. You can repeat the same steps as many cameras as you have. If you have four cameras, you can connect the first four into the built-in PoE ports on the MBR and then the rest onto the external PoE switch. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For more information, visit our website, easterncctv.com. Thank you for watching.